Hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm excited to be vlogging today. I feel like, yeah, I haven't vlogged in quite a while. It is a rainy Friday morning here in Switzerland and I am kind of hiding-ish um, in my kitchen because if you can see, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's people working right outside of our big living room windows, so Long story short, we've had construction for the past few weeks and we got new windows, which is really nice, but now they're doing like the whole new siding. So there's people right outside our living room windows. Just about to make my coffee this morning and I thought I would share it with you guys. I've definitely been in the full fall mode and really enjoying it. Also love that toque season is back. Naturally, as one does around this time of year, I was craving a pumpkin spice latte so a couple days ago i had the idea i was like why don't i just try to make my own and it's fairly simple but it definitely has satisfied some of my pumpkin spice latte cravings and yeah, super easy you can make it at home let me show you about two tablespoons of pumpkin puree one cup of milk you can obviously use almond milk oat milk whatever milk you want and then you can use whatever spices you want. I'm gonna add some cinnamon and some nutmeg. I think they make a really nice fall combination. You could also use that pre-made pumpkin pie spice and if that's available to you. And then to sweeten it, I'm gonna add just a little bit of this vanilla syrup. Um, you could totally use vanilla extract and a little bit of sugar. I think maple syrup would be really delicious um, or honey, whatever kind of sweetener you wanna use in your latte. And then obviously you're gonna need some kind of shot of espresso or you can just brew some really strong coffee and that will probably work just fine. all over my face. Okay, so now that I have my pumpkin spice latte, which is so yummy, um, it's not too sweet, which is really nice because I know like the ones at Starbucks and places like that are super, super sweet. So it has just a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of pumpkin. Actually, there's still people working out there, so I thought I'd sit myself down here and just kind of give you guys a little bit of an update of what's been going on because it's been a while since we posted or done a vlog or anything like that. We kind of didn't post anything for a month or two. Um, so I thought I would just do a tiny little life update if you guys care, if not skip ahead. Um, at the beginning of August, we took a trip to Canada, which was amazing. And um, if you guys don't know, that's where I'm from. I hadn't been back there in a year. So it was really, that was so nice to be Back in Canada, um, we fit in a lot. I think we were there for three and a half weeks or so, and we kind of went all over. Um, we went to a wedding in Winnipeg, um, which was super fun. Our friends from YWAM got married, and so we got to be out there. I also have family out there. It was just super fun to hang out with 
really, really solid, amazing friends. Then we took a little family road trip all together out to BC. We explored Vancouver, which was amazing. I love Vancouver, one of my favorite cities in the world. Ate really good food, drank really good beer. We went down to the States, did a little Target trip, which was fun, and then made our way back. We stopped in Calgary on the way home, again, to see more of my family, and then back to Edmonton, and that was our trip. So we packed in a lot, we did a lot. It was so good and so fun to see just people that we love, friends and family. And so I think because it was so fun and so just life-giving to me, um, being back in Canada, I think coming back to Switzerland was really hard, honestly. Yeah, I just got really sad and um, just realizing how much I love and thrive in community and friends and family and so not having that here or not a lot of it um, I think really really hit me and I kind of just whoop, went kind of down a little bit and just a lot of time just feeling yeah just not myself which is why I haven't really filmed any videos since coming back because when you're not feeling yourself when you're feeling down you don't really want to go on camera you don't really want to be on social media I'm just trying to get myself better really and um, working on that and I have the best husband in the whole world anyways that's a little life update um let's carry on with our day let's go So sometimes I think that we just need to have a daily reminder of who God is, who we are, what we were created to do, um, and actually how significant our purpose is. Um, and so I had this idea that I would love to just scatter some different verses and declarations and truths um, around our home, just on little pieces of paper in our kitchen, in our bedroom, in our living room, um, things that we can see as we're going about our day to remind us of the truth. Jesus is always wanting to reveal more of himself every single day. And I think sometimes we miss it because we're so busy or because we're yeah just distracted, not paying attention. to go on a little walk with my chai tea um, I just needed to get out of the house it I had been inside all day and it had been raining I realized that I, I haven't really shown you guys kind of where we live we live like these really beautiful nature paths and really close to our house but it's nice because we're also super super close to the city so we kind of have like the best of both worlds I don't have a travel mug so a regular mug trying not to burn myself because it's really hot yeah there's like a little here let's go down by the water I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit listen to some worship music if my phone doesn't die it's so calming and peaceful and quiet and the weather is perfect
walk cozying up in my blanket because it actually was a little bit chilly but i think this is where i'm gonna end the vlog for today and thanks for coming along with me today the rest of the evening i'm just gonna relax until chris comes home and i'm gonna watch some gilmore girls i've actually never seen gilmore girls um i'm on the first season right now but i've never watched it like all the way through and it's funny though because chris actually has seen the whole thing I felt like it was a good fall show to watch. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed um, and gave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.